Uh, I'm, uh, I know you'll be really thrilled today with the guest that I have today. We'll be spotlighting. This professional has three books, guys, and I just discovered today he's co-author, and I'm looking to co-author myself, and this year I'll be writing my first book, so I'll be looking to learn a lot from him as well. So I'd like to introduce him to you, and um, and you can learn from him like I will. You know, hello and welcome, Paul. Hey, welcome, Paul. Thanks for having me. Great, uh, definitely. It just uh, I know that you are basically you originally from uh, Massachusetts, but you now yeah. live in Huntsville, Alabama. Yes. So just tell us a little bit about your, the personal, the personal side of you, and then we'll get into the, the business side. But tell us about you, you and the family. Well, yeah, th thanks for asking. Uh, if family is a big thing to me, I'm a, a, I'm a husband, father to some young kids, a, a daughter and a son. And we're just loving, wanting to live and, and be a vessel to shed light into others. So at my core, I like to basically say, hey, I'm a vessel to outpour into others. Now, where that transposes over to at work and outreach or whatever I'm doing, that's primarily the focus. How do I anchor myself to let that overflow? The goodness, albeit with the ups and downs I endure and the mistakes I make, the, the core of it is to be a solid vessel to shine light on others. See, you know what? And that, that that's wonderful. And and I want to tell you right now, which we, I'm I'm trying to fast forward through because my mind is thinking about his his, <laughs> his fabulous book, but I'm willing, I'll be patient. But I want <laughs> to just uh, find out. Also, Paul, tell us more about your business. What, uh, what does your business consist of? So we're primarily a government supplier. We help in getting the warfighters home safely by providing them the materials they need. So that's either the stuff that they ask or something is or just the pieces that go on the tanker on the aircraft. But the primary purpose, the way I see it, is aiding them and giving them the tools they need to succeed in doing their jobs and, and playing a role, a critical role in sourcing so it's able to get to them in a timely manner. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Someone, the, the artist that's viewing us right now, is there, who would you say would be a really good candidate, somebody that you could, you look forward to maybe doing business with? So it mostly is any government agency or in customer. Sometimes we're looking for new manufacturers. There's somebody out there who's probably wanting to start a business or currently manufacturing items that maybe they haven't thought of that apply to a government uh, end user or in line. So sometimes we're looking out for those manufacturers to tell them, look, here's another line that you can support because of the precision that they've had and the excellence in doing whatever they've done commercially. We're also looking to help aid in that as well. But sometimes they haven't thought of that where they can go through the approval process to supply their items to the government. Okay. Okay. Well, well okay. Now, your uh which what you do right now within your business how has your business how has a succeed maybe how's your business help you to succeed the right way so the i feel it's made of <laughs> it's made a, a vessel to make connections with people that also live in that mantra sort of succeed the right way where they value relationships they value purpose they value things beyond just a simple interaction of business they want to form long-term relationships they want to take those resources and support things in their local community they want to hire the right people they want to impact the people that are in their family a circle so this line of work has been able to be helpful in one aiding and helping our warfighters get home, but two meeting people and downline vendors that are essentially sharing the wealth and making a larger impact as a whole. But that has been excellent in this line of work. Great, and in your uh, in your book, succeed uh -huh. the right way. Tell us. I love. I'd love to to know how you came up with your title, and I know you're very. You're definitely into compassion and empathy, which I definitely support. But just tell us more about your title and about your book. Your book from 2022. Okay. 
So that book came about really, the genesis of it was when the pandemic hit, I didn't know. You know our son was young at that time and our, and our children. And I didn't know if that was going to take me out. So there's this, this overwhelming presence came over me to like take those thoughts and put them in a book. And the more, the genesis of it was our son, and I wanted to leave to him something saying, hey, look, if dad's not around and you don't have a male influence, this is the way dad thought. This is the way dad's dad taught him. And this is something core. Wherever you go through life, please follow these principles. And as I started to write it, I wrote an article on Entrepreneur about empathy wins and selling doesn't in the kind of a reframe of touch people with the solutions from the heart and you will drive that revenue versus the reverse. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of back channel on LinkedIn and some of the social media platforms. And when I started to see it, I said, Hey, well, maybe I have something here. And then I continued to delve into, I'm going to make this legit and put it all away and follow through because halfway I was getting through saying, well, does this really matter? I'll just write it kind of as an, a memoir to him and just leave it in note paper. But then it started to get real traction and I took a serious note saying, all right, let's go ahead and make this a book and leave it. So I was able to work with the publisher to get it framed and, and fine tuned from an editing standpoint to get released and published. 